A very good morning students, we are in our practical class lecture and this is structural geology practical. And in today's class, we will try to solve the calculation of true dip from two apparent dip. And actually we have did the same calculations using geometric and trigonometric method in our previous classes. And today's class, we will try to solve this type of question with the help of stereographic projection method. Okay. So, so when you are dealing with the calculation of true dip, as you know, the apparent dip is usually measured on a vertical face. The true strike and dip of a plane can be determined from two apparent dip as long as they are measured on two non-parallel vertical planes. Okay. So if we have a cross section like a joint plane or a bedding plane that is exposed, you can simply use your Brenton to measure the strike and dip just by placing your uh, Brenton over that, right? But when you are dealing with a cross section which is a vertical place, we may not have a sufficient place to find out which is the actual bedding plane or which is the planar feature which you are looking for. So when you are looking about this cross section, you will be finding a line like structure which is exposed on that cross section. So we can consider that as a linear feature for our calculation purpose. Okay. So until and unless it is non-parallel uh, vertical planes, we can use those things for our calculations and as you know this apparent dip will lie in a true plane right so when you are measuring in two different direction of a same planar future on two different vertical planes you will be that will be simply lying in a same plane right so with this uh, basic principle we are going to solve this question with the help of this projections as you measure the dip in a vertical section we plot it in a steel unit in the same way as a lineation so as i mentioned earlier so we are dealing with a section where you will be having, having only a line like structure. So you will consider it as a lineation and you will plot it in the same way as lineation. And as you know, these two lineations will only coincide in one red circle and that will be the true dip plane. Okay. So this is what the basic principle behind this type of solving the question. So let us try this with one question which we already solved. Okay. So let us consider this question as we have to find out the true dip from two apparent dips that is one is not 60 degree east 55 and other is not 50, 45 degree east and 65. So these are the two different uh, apparent dip values which lies in two different planes. Okay. So as usual we have to plot this with the, in a projection with the help uh, like a lineation. So let us consider this as our uh, projection plane and our first uh, apparent dip is say not 60 degree east. So we have to rotate the steel unit according to that location. So this will be not 60 and that not 60 will lie here, right? And the dip amount is 55 degree. So this will be the 55 degree. As you know, this is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 55. Okay. And the next, the next thing is that we have to plot the other thing that is not 45 east and 65. So this will be not 45 degree. Okay. And the dip amount is 65. So this will be somewhere here like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and 65. Okay. And as you know, we have this two plane will coincide in one red circle. So we have to find out that red circle just by rotating this net over this, uh, or rotating this tracing sheet over that net. And we will find that at some point, both this point will lie in a same plane. And that plane will be your greater circle that is the plane will be showing your true dip and the strike of this uh, planar feature. Okay. So you have to trace that uh, great circle and uh, we have to find the value and we will be rotating it back so that we can calculate the inclination. Right. So from that we can find out the strike direction is say north 92 east or not 272 east and the dip direction is say north 2 degree east and the dip amount is 74 degree and this is what somewhat the same answer uh, for the for this question which we solved using trigonometric as well as geometric method is that clear thank you